Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head and let's stretch on this side, over to the other side. One last stretch and now it's time to sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a great day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, we have a few things to do quickly. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has some buttons underneath my chin. So I'm going to button them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? Boom, 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 boom. Now let me grab my pointing stick and we'll go over the date together. Right up here, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? October. Today is October 13th. So let's move the chip over from the, num from the number 12. Yesterday was October 12th. And today is October 13th. And the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. Let's take out our counting fingers and we'll warm them up to give them a little stretch. We'll use our counting fingers to see how many days we've had so far in the month of October. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've had 13 days so far in the month of October. Now let's hold up seven fingers like this for the day of the week song. We'll start with one hand, but one hand only has five fingers. We need to add two more fingers to make seven. One finger for each of the day of the week. And if you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and listen for the sound that the day starts with. This says that yesterday was Tuesday. That means that today is w. Wednesday and tomorrow will be th. Thursday. Let's sing today is Wednesday together. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? Fall. That's right. Do you remember the other word for fall? Autumn. Autumn and fall are the same season. Let's go back down to the bottom of the chart. We'll sing the weather song together, and then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's another mostly sunny day outside. The sky is pretty blue, but there are a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm outside. Warm and mostly sunny. What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. This week, we've been talking about this capital letter, which makes two sounds, e and e. Do you remember what uppercase letter this is? E, and E says e and e. It's time to guess what I have today inside of the letter box, but it's actually not inside of the letter box today, and you'll see why in just a bit. Today I have something that starts with the letter E, but it makes the short sound, E. Eh. Here's your first clue. This is a part of your body that's found in the middle of your arm, and it's pretty pointy and bony. Hmm. What part of your body is it? Your elbow. So your elbow is located in the middle of your arm, right here. When you bend your arm up like this, you can feel your elbow. It's pretty pointy because of that bone right here. Elbow starts with the letter E. -E. This is how you write an uppercase, E. -E. One more time. And here's the number of the week. Friends, do you remember what double digit number this is? 20. And when you write the number 20, you have to write two numbers. First, you write the number two, and then you write the number zero. Two, zero, 20. Let's count to the number 20 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 20 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to trade these 10 units for one 10. Two tens, 20. And now let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. Because today is Wednesday, I have some pebbles. And as I count them, I'm going to make two rows of 10 for 20 altogether. Are you ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, so let's start the next row of 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oop, that one fell, 19, and one more makes 20, 20 pebbles. Let's go over the sign of the week, which is Earth. Will you show me how to say earth in sign language? Earth. If you ever travel around the world, you'll notice that the flags are different. A flag is a piece of rectangular fabric that is used to represent a belief or a message. 
For example, most countries in the world have a flag with a specific color or design. In the USA, where I live, the flag is made up of red, white, and blue with stars and stripes. These colors and images are used to represent courage, justice, and innocence. But flags are not just for countries. They can also be used to mark an area or just for decoration. Today we are going to decorate our own flags. Let's go! For today's work, we are going to be designing our own flag. The materials that you'll need today are a piece of fabric, a stick, a pair of scissors, and some craft materials. So I have some markers and a few stickers, but you can use whatever art materials you have at your house to decorate your flag once you set it up. So the first thing that I did was went outside and I found a stick and then I brought it inside and I cut up an old t-shirt. So you can use an old t-shirt, you can use whatever kind of fabric you have at your house. And I used my pair of scissors and I cut out the fabric in a shape of a triangle like this. And then I took my hot glue gun and I just glued the side of the fabric triangle onto the stick like this so that I'll be able to wave it eventually. And now it's time to decorate the flag. I'll start off with some of my markers. And maybe I'll just do a few designs, some swirls, The reason why I'm just sticking with markers and stickers today is because I want to be able to show you how I can wave the flag and this way I don't have to wait for any of the materials to dry. So I'm just using some markers and now I'm adding a few stickers to my flag. And as always, friends, there is no right or wrong way to decorate your flag. This is my flag. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. You can wave goodbye like this, and I'm going to wave goodbye with my flag. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.